<laughs> Mike Bloomberg's star continues to rise in the polls, and he's qualified for tomorrow night's debate in Las Vegas after the DNC dropped their requirement of meeting a, a donor threshold. So is he now going to be the biggest target on the stage? I mean, you know, everybody's poop is coming out now. This is, <laughs> you know, oh, no. because I mean, I mean, think about it. People of a certain age, I mean, we had a whole show called Mad Men that dealt with the stupid stuff particularly and, you know, not only, but particularly that white guys of a certain age believed mm -hmm. and said. So it's not a surprise it to me. Still do. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it seems like, you know, can you throw a stone anywhere and find somebody who hasn't stepped in it? <laughs> I, mean, oh. I, I mean, look, I, I mean, I, it's just... It, I think you can throw a stone and find someone with less oppo because he's been in public office so long. Mm -hmm. um, I am so glad he's finally going to have to man up and be on the debate stage mm -hmm. because I want to see how he performs against the other candidates. And so far, he's sort of been getting by on just doing <clears throat> um, ads, uh, releasing statements and doing rallies, which is like... You know, I think it's kind of a cheap way to run for president mm -hmm. because he's opted out of all the primaries, however you feel about the process. Um, I think the idea that Mike Bloomberg is just going to sail into this and land really easily and he's just going to be the nominee mm -hmm. and all of these activists on the that? far left. Yeah. Well, I think he, he and his supporters or, and his supporters in the media are acting like he's just being anointed. He's an easy billionaire mm -hmm. and he's going to walk right in and it's going to be easy. And some of the stuff I saw over the weekend and mm -hmm. some of the comments he's made, and I don't mm -hmm. want to... I don't want to... Um, get in your way, Sonny, but I believe you have a clip that I was shown that is particularly, uh, at least problematic, I think, for most Americans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this is going to be a lot harder than he thinks it is. Yeah. Oh, I do. Yeah. I know. I saw the same. And I didn't, didn't want to... No, no. I know no. clip. No, because we didn't get a chance okay. to talk about it this morning, but I, I was sent that clip, mm -hmm. and it was in 2011, and mm -hmm. Joy and I have been talking about Bloomberg yeah. a lot, um, because I know you, you believe he's one, one of the people that can beat Trump, and I... I, I well, think if we keep taking dem the Democrats down, yeah. Trump is going to win. Yeah. So I say be careful about that because what you've got, the Democrat is standing between Trump and fascism. But if Democrats yeah. don't take him out, Republicans will. Right. I have no doubt. This information, but, one way or another, you can't stop from, Oppo from coming see, out. See, for me, I think that every single candidate, yeah, mm -hmm. I think every single candidate should be vetted. Yeah. Whether or not you're a Republican or, or a Democrat, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I mm -hmm. think it took too long for the grab them by the, by the you-know-what uh, videotape yeah. came out. So, you know, I, I, I do think everyone should be vetted. But this